I'm here in the Oltrarno neighborhood of Florence. Oltre is the Italian word for beyond, and Arno is of course the name of the river. And this entire neighborhood is dominated by one massive structure known as the P.T. Palace. A building that was originally constructed in the year 1452 for a patron named Luca Pitti. And in fact, the original Pitti Palace was significantly smaller than the building that you see today. When you're looking at the facade of the Pitti Palace, if you imagine a vertical axis, essentially rising up from that main door through the window and through the window above that, and then add three window bays to the right and three to the left. That was the original breadth of the PT Palace. But what happened was that in the year 1542, the Duchess of Florence, whose name was Eleonora of Toledo, purchased the building from the PT family for the whopping sum of nine thousand florins, which was a substantial amount of money. But more importantly, Eleonora then began this sequence of enlargements and additions onto the structure, eventually making it the mother of all royal palaces in Europe. And it wasn't just the palace itself that became larger, but also the space behind it, because there was land that was purchased from a family named Bogoli and eventually transformed into one of the most sumptuous gardens in all of Europe. And gradually that name Bogoli evolved into Boboli. And today the Boboli Gardens stand as one of the favorite places for tourists to Florence to visit and see some of the nature that makes this city so extraordinary.